the decision to discover and fulfill your assignment that is the third destiny decision that you must make dear the decision to discover and fulfill your assignment let me hurry up so that we conserve time john chapter 4 and verse 34 john 4 and verse 34 jesus said unto them my meat that means my satisfaction comes from doing the will of him that sent me david's christian center and to finish his work dr miles monroe of blessed memory will always say that the wealthiest place is not the gold mines in south africa and congo drc and all of these places not even the oil mines in nigeria and the middle east that the wealthiest place is the symmetry where dreams were never actualized books that should have been written that were never written and his goal was that he would die empty and even in death he cheated death you must make up your mind that this is the year you will stop living a purposeless life where someone calls you in the morning and says bros what is for today say i'm just sitting down and say can you come and that that's what defines your day purpose driven people almost need prayer to sleep because there is something consuming them there's no distraction many of you got into trouble because of idleness there is a way you can be so busy even the devil will wait for you because your level of focus and determination is such that nothing will bend your focus vision gives your life focus you are busy but not doing many things very busy if you find yourself doing many things is a sign that you've not found your place in life you should be busy but not doing many things are you learning john chapter 9 and verse 4 john chapter 9 and verse 4 jesus said unto them he said i must walk the works of him that sent me while it is day look up please there is timing to your assignment not every time is convenient imagine a man who discovers purpose at 80 chances are excellent that that man may not do so much because the energy the relationships his colleagues may have been long dead so all the things that support his feeling his assignment are almost not there the night cometh when no man can walk again today we are seated here because pastor kingsley and his dear wife found their place in god's agenda and we are all recipients and beneficiaries of their purposefulness make up your mind that you are not going to go and see him without giving out what he put within you to your generation it was a decision that i made many years ago and i'm grateful to god that i made that decision hebrews chapter 10 and verse 7 lo i come in the volume of the book 10 7 hebrews 10 7 lo i come in the volume of the book as it is written of me to do thy will someone after this after the church conference you should go and start your own retreat your own three-day retreat lock yourself somewhere and flog it out with destiny someone calls you and tell them please call me after three days there's something i need to sort lord i'm tired of escorting people i'm tired of acting like i know where i'm going because you see your honor is in the discovery of your place a bird does not struggle in the air but if the bird enters sea he will struggle there many of you you are struggling as though god did not call and anoint and bless you because you have not found your place the decision to discover and fulfill your assignment i made up my mind that i was not going to spend my life doing so many things that which god has called me to do i will do with all my heart hallelujah all my days on earth i will await 
the moment that I see you face to face. Nothing in this world can satisfy. Jesus, you're the cup that will run dry. Listen, your honor is in your call. Your prosperity is in your call. Your relevance is in your call. Brother, sister, the Spirit of God is speaking to you. This is not just a preacher speaking. You will live your life in jealousy and pain and anger. This man was my classmate. This one was this. So what? He was just lucky. When you find your place, you can celebrate others because there is security in your place. When you see people who are always pointing fingers and always speaking negatively to others, such well, they are gallivanting around the corridors of destiny. They have not found them their place. When you see others who celebrate people and can appreciate it, it's because they have found security in their place. And let me tell you this. Destiny is like a relay. That means... If God desired that I run with my purpose and hand it to this man, and he hands it to this man, that means if I refuse to leave purpose, I'm punishing these people. God is too merciful to allow them suffer for my carelessness. He will put a replacement to do that work. This is what is happening to many people. You can look at someone and say, but this is my assignment. Another person had to take it because for every time you delay, there are multitudes suffering. And God loves you, but he loves them too. He will not submit people in pain because you have refused to rise. If I did not rise as a man of God, God loves me, but he will have to raise somebody who will bridge it. The refusal to discover and find your place can cost you your bishopric. He said, his bishopric let another take. Ah, God, don't replace me. I'm ever available. Ever available. Whatever you want to do, Lord, you can do through me. Whatever you want to say Lord you can say through me whoever you want to lift Lord you can lift do not live the kind of life where you see someone doing what you know this is your assignment when God finds out that you are careless over your assignment, he will look for someone who is faithfully doing his and has increased capacity. He will honor him and add your assignment to him. This is why you find out that some people start ministry and life not intending to do certain things. But because God searches for available vessels and they are not there, he comes to them and says, can I add this to you? I have seen that your stamina can take this. And you say, Lord, I love you. Bring it on. He will multiply their honor and still grant them that grace. Someone can start the ministry as an evangelist. But the prophet that God desired to raise is careless, not serious. When he should be born again, he's not born again. Filled with the Holy Spirit, he's still arguing about the Holy Spirit. When will you start prophesying to people? God will raise that evangelist who is available. The evangelist is going through the discipline of a prophet. God will add that prophetic to that man. You find out for five years he started with evangelism. But right now he has switched even to the prophetic. Because God intends for his agenda to advance. And if you become an interruption to his agenda, believe me, he loves you. But he will find the replacement. This is one thing I know about God. When you know you will be serious with God, there is nobody who is indispensable. No, sir. No, sir. Don't say God lacks men. There are men who don't make the mistake of Elijah to say I'm the only one. There are 7,000 others. 
David Christian Center, if God has given you the privilege to be a head of department, to lead a unit, do not ever let it get to you that I am the only one. It is just by meritocracy. No, sir. Because God can pick ordinary people and place something on their lives and grant them the grace to excel. Are we learning? 